we have the Apocalypse Blade set, and it is time to rise up. Hello everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day today. So first of all, this video will not be possible without Hasbro's help. So huge thanks to Hasbro for supplying this product so we can actually do our review. We really do appreciate it, obviously. Disclaimer, like we have to say at the start, in this case for this video, they supplied it to us. Full disclosure and everything. With that being said, let us begin. So the Apocalypse Blade set comes with Cosmic Apocalypse, I think it's Vanguard Coil or something, and uh, comes with uh, the Apocalypse Sword Launcher. Well, it is really just the Sword Launcher from Excalibur, but for Apocalypse. Uh, you know, always always excited for another Sword Launcher, I guess. Um, I'm more curious to see how it's going to actually perform, see how good it is. Uh, anyways, 500 likes is going to be our like goal, and if you are new here and you are not subscribed for whatever reason, Fix that by subscribing to this channel. Fix it. You gotta subscribe. Better do it, please. I beg you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it is pretty cool to see an Apocalypse recolor. So I know what people are gonna be thinking, you know, why Cosmic? Okay, now I've done Apocalypse versus Cosmic Kraken, and I've seen how it's went down. I don't really think Cosmic was, you know, really a bad choice considering for Hasbro how well it performs. I'm kind of okay with it in this case. Now, if it was like Sword Apocalypse, I guess maybe it'd be a little bit fair, but come on. It is a cool little Apocalypse recolor. It is funny actually seeing uh, Cosmic Apocalypse, just because it's technically supposed to be on Prime, but since Hasbro did it to where it's just a chip and it's not the Infinite Lock system, it is kind of cool just to see it on the Cosmic base and just have like the sword kind of like stop midway through the thing. Uh, again, the parts are D75, TH15. It does look really cool. Let's take a look at the actual back so we can see. I obviously got the Apocalypse uh, GT chip, or Gamma chip. It spins to the right direction, so again, you can put this on any right base. You could have a Union Apocalypse. I'm trying to think, you could probably actually have Lord Apocalypse and it wouldn't look too bad because of the yellow base and the yellow chip. Uh, we get the Cosmic base. I do believe, in total with how many Cosmics there are, there's Cosmic Kraken, we know there's Cosmic Valtriac, and then after we also know now there's Cosmic Apocalypse. So, yeah, we can see when we have all of them. Uh, look at the stats for runtime and drop in, there is a 2 and a 4, not bad. I think this should do uh, pretty fine, I do remember, what is it, Coil came on Hydrax? Coil itself round moves in a hypersphere stadium is not bad at all. It's pretty much just a really rounded shape. So for just pure hypersphere, it's supposed to like go around like crazy. If not, uh, if let's say you're okay, you don't know what I'm not really too interested in the hypersphere stuff. Okay, well you get the sword launcher, which I'm assuming we should be fine. And you get cosmic, and cosmic for Hasbro I'd say is pretty solid. All things considered. Uh, we're gonna actually take a look inside of the packaging and uh, see how cool it is. Also, I should mention download the app. So now we have the Cosmic Apocalypse Bay part by part. Let's actually go and take a look at it. So obviously we have got our GT chip, which is Apocalypse. So you probably just keep it there. Uh, it is a nice recolor of the chip, all things considered. I don't really have any complaints for the chip itself. Usually most of this stuff has been uh, pretty good with really almost little to no uh, complaints on my side. Uh, or maybe how they are or anything like that. We of course have the Cosmic Base, which is gold with some blue streaks on the side. Uh, we have Vanguard, and then after we have Coil. I think this Coil seems to be fine. Uh, on the right side now, you get that Coil that can now be red with red for the Viper Hydrax. So, you know, not too bad, I guess, right? Not too bad. So anyways, uh, Overall, for how it physically looks, and we're going to take a look at the parts really close in a second. I think it's not that bad at all. I really do think, like, not that bad. Oh, we actually do have it on the side here. I just want to just show that. So I do want to actually just take a little bit of a closer look and actually sh uh, show the slopes and everything. So we do have... Let me move this out, out to the side. Oh, let me actually take apart the actual Prime Apocalypse one so we can compare. 
but obviously yeah, if you do the comparison on the the two for a recolor it's not that bad at all looks very nice with how it uh, blends in obviously you know there's these parts here whatever if they have to put that for the right rotation on all the baits then i can't it's whatever we're surprised with the different case because it was dual spin if you want to see the slopes now there you go i'm gonna try to get it a little bit closer yeah those are the slopes taking a look at the actual cosmic base so if anything, this is like gold turbo cosmic basically, or hyperflux cosmic, just because of how it's gold and everything. So I guess in that way, if you like gold, pretty much it's fine. This actually goes super well with uh, the gold hyperflux dragon ship. Uh, you know, you got Vanguard Hasbro, nothing really new. It's Vanguard Hasbro. So we're gonna put that to the side, and obviously we've got Coil that we've seen from what Viper Hydrax, I'm pretty sure. And uh, it's not that bad. Not that bad at all. I'm gonna go back to the top and we're actually gonna get out the scale. So you can see all the grams and everything, how much it's supposed to weigh. So I'm gonna move this. So we've got the Apocalypse chip, 3.39. Three point four five. Wait, how much was this one again? Four. Three point four one. Yeah, three point four five. But four six. Four one. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Uh, cosmic. Eight twenty five. Vanguard Hasbro. Now this one's actually twenty grams. Nice. This that one's twenty. Uh, then after you've got about 8.46. So obviously there is technically no TT1 to compare this to. Like unless you really want to count Prime Apocalypse, then I guess. As for how tight this is, considering that it's on Cosmic, this is actually, I would say, probably tighter than the actual Prime Apocalypse. So I guess uh, if for whatever reason you just want purely how much tighter it is, it seems like the Cosmic base was a good fit just because it does feel decent. Not like insanely tight, not like Union Achilles tight, but like not too bad. I guess if you also want to see this, which really silly, doesn't it? With the, hold on. It does look kind of silly with the colors. Let me move this out. So we have actually the, oh, that does look pretty nice actually. It does look pretty nice. Let me just see how Apocalypse feels on this other base. I actually feel like the chip might actually be a little bit better. But I don't know. It does look really cool like I've been saying. Let's actually just put this normal now. Oh, for overall thoughts and everything, it is really nice. We're gonna get this assembled. Looks super nice. We'll get to the launcher in a second. Really nice recolor. Let's just uh, feel it on the scale. So I just want to just make sure I double check just to make sure I did all of it. So we got the scale. Hold on. Let me just let's get it on the right thing for grams. And there we go. Yeah, 40.58. And then after 40.57. Yeah, 40, you get the idea. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at the actual sword launcher. I'm sure people want to see it. Those look pretty cool. In a second now, we're actually going to get uh, the other launchers and compare. Obviously, this is what it looks like. Again, really just more of an Excalius recolor, so if you want to think about that or anything. There is actually an Excalius that was similar to this color scheme, so I guess if you like that, you know, pretty good there. And it's really just a recolor of the launcher. I feel like the launcher feels fine. I don't think it has the same issue as the other one. I'm not too sure. I have to do a lot of testing then, I guess. I would just say in general, be careful with the launcher, just in case. And uh, yeah, there's little tools you can switch uh, for the old base for dual spin, like turbo surprise and basically like all the surprises. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna zoom out a bit. I don't think there's any much of a difference. It should be just really the Excalius launcher, just uh, blue and yellow. 
So here we have the launcher actually uh, set up. So first of all, just to show some of the ones in the past, uh, really it's been the Excalius Bay, or bays I guess that are pretty much close to Excalius, like of course we got the Master Kit from the past. Then after we of course got uh, the Sword Launcher from the Excalius set. Then after technically there's the Riptide Launcher with Emperor Fornius, but it's technically not a Sword Launcher, but still, similar idea. And then after, years later, you get this uh, blue one. It is really just to recolor the Excalius one. I don't think there's really any much difference from that. I'm gonna see how it feels like when I'm winding it up. There's a little bit, let me, let me go on the older one so I can feel it. I don't know if this will make any sense with how I'm gonna phrase this, but it does feel a little bit softer. On this one, it feels a little bit softer when you're pulling in the ripcord. This one, it feels a little bit rough when you're putting it in, which I guess is maybe why it had issues in the past with it, I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, for the launcher, for the ones we've been getting, it's really fine. Like, I didn't really expect too much. Like, it's, it, it is Apocalypse, and it, Apocalypse really just... It, basically, Excalibur Smith. So, I'm okay with that. Anyways, we're gonna be actually setting up to do the test launch and everything. All right, we have this out of the packaging and everything. We're gonna do a test launch and everything. Launcher, it looks amazing. Blends with the stadium, you get the drill. Let's do our test launch. We'll do one right and then after one left. All right, are you ready and set? Three, two, one, let it rip. Pretty good. I don't feel any skips or anything bad. Feels fine to me. It's like the sword launcher in the past, I guess. So, we're going to get set up now. I actually want to do another test launch in a second. I get this set. Yeah, so that's good. So let's do another test launch with Apocalypse. See what we can do. Three, two, one, rip. Yeah, not that bad at all. Obviously the bays have to hit each other so they can actually move and do all that crazy stuff. But uh, for the stadium and everything, seems good. Let's get a left bait now so we can actually uh, get an idea. I will be picking zone for my left bait showcase to launch with. Let's try zone. So ready and set. Three, two, one, grip. Again, okay, not that bad at all. So that was just for the showcase for the thing. So zone's gonna go to the side there for the rest of the video. We'll be just going up against some right bays. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll have to launch the right bay first, then after the, I have to use two different launchers. So I'll get this started. I'm gonna try to get this uh, set up actually. Okay, let's get Devilos. Then, yeah, there we go. Yeah, like I said, you can see Cosmic's going around the stadium nice. I think Cosmic was a good choice for a base because Cosmic Kraken was good. Uh, it was a good bay. I guess maybe the colors people have, uh, whatever. But again, if it's performing well, I don't really care too much. Okay, let's try to launch this. Try to get this launch. I'll get the other bay launched, seeing as how well it did against uh, Devilos. Let's make sure I have this on the right rotation. Okay, let him rip. The sword launcher and the apocalypse. It's going around. Oh, yeah, it's funny too against the uh, Devilos. I just realized because of Vanguard, Vanguard. Nice. Uh, cosmic apocalypse. Obviously. So we're going to bring it up against some other base. Let's see how well it does. I think. It would make zero sense if I didn't do it against Cosmic Kraken. Like it's literally Cosmic Cosmic, right? So it has to, we have to keep some consistency. Let's see how it does against the original Cosmic. We got Kraken. Got Apocalypse going around. So it's two Cosmic battles. So I don't know how well the stamina will hold up, but as you can see, we are going around giving some good hits. Come on, Apoc yeah. Pushing against it, and then after I'll do one where I launch Apocalypse, then after Kraken, just to see. Not bad. The power of the sword launcher. 
The sword of the apocalypse. Okay, so overall, it's doing pretty good. Looks good and it's doing good. Just make sure I'm getting this locked in right to make sure on this on. All right. Ooh, Kraken's going around. The Kraken's revenge against the apocalypse. Ooh, Cosmic Kraken. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. Kraken utilizes stadium to its advantage. So let's do another round. Yeah, not too surprising to be honest, uh, all things considered. Although, hey, I guess if people didn't like how Proud Apocalypse was bursting, hey, Cosmic Apocalypse barely bursts. So there is that. Finally. Going around. Hey, I feel like if we utilize the stadium, we'll probably beat Kraken. That's really the only way, because Kraken has a lot of crazy stamina. Are you to have a no, I feel like we need to utilize Apocalypse perfectly in this stadium. Okay. Actually, yeah, we did pretty good against uh, Cosmic Kraken. So now for our next one, I will be picking Bushin Ashindra. And we're gonna see how well we uh, do against uh, Bushin Ashindra. The launcher feels fine. I don't feel the launcher skipping or anything like that. So that's actually a pretty good sign for this one. Get Ashindra. It's cool. Oh, it's really, it's really knocking it down actually. Power of Cosmic Apocalypse. The Cosmic Apocalypse. Sounds so silly saying that. Now we've got probably what I would say is gonna be a really good tester. Union Achilles Hasbro. Probably is the best one. Hasbro Union. There we go. Okay, now we get to see. Yeah, so in terms of how Cosmic works and everything and how it's supposed to ride around the stadium, it does a good job. So overall, I do think Cosmic was a solid choice uh, for a Lair to pick. Like, if I had to pick anything that I would say for Hasbro-wise was really solid, I feel like Cosmic just works just because I already knew it was pretty solid for Kraken, so probably the same idea for the launcher and everything. Oh my god, hey, it's, it's, it actually yeah. went around. I don't know who's gonna win now. I don't feel any really thing when I'm launching anything. I don't think it should be uh, bad, because when I'm launching, I'm, I'm ripping a straight line, by the way. That's something I should mention. For the launcher and everything, make sure you're also ripping in a straight line, because if you're ripping like, like you're, you're bending it, yeah, but I don't, but yeah, but some people are like, oh, because it broke. It should be fine. It really, it should be fine. It's managed to utilize Satan to beat Achilles. Obviously, we did like a full session. I'm assuming Achilles would probably take it. Next up, let's get Harmony Pegasus. So now we're going to try a stamina base against stamina base. So I just want to do a little practice launch with Harmony and then actually get it. So the reason why this combo works is because Coil is such a round shape, so you should be going around the stadium quite a bit. And, you know, Cosmic should be fine. I don't think you're gonna win in every single case. Like for the most part, most of these other base should pretty much uh, win. But uh, it, the combo, you know, it's tight and everything. I don't really have that really any complaints for it. Launcher seems to be fine. Or at least the exact, maybe it's like, like a teensy, teensy bit better than the actual sword launcher from the past. Now this will be the real test against the actual Apocalypse, but the thing is, I feel really bad for the actual Apocalypse, so I will launch Apocalypse second, and I will launch Apocalypse first. Uh, let's see who gets it. And you see my point? So there you go. Cosmic Apocalypse. If you hate the actual Prime Bursting, 
Get Cosmic, because it comes with the launcher. So there are two different ways to obtain the Apocalypse chip, if you are wondering. There is through the launcher, or the Vortex Climb, unless they do another, unless they do another release of Apocalypse. So, just so we can end it off, like I said at the end, I will actually throw in the actual Prime Apocalypse. Have fun uh, scanning it in the app, of course. Please give credit where credit is due. Uh, like, no, seriously, credit me if you're gonna do these videos. I appreciate it if you do. Launcher. Cosmic Apocalypse. Again, pause the video. So, overall thoughts, uh, Cosmic Apocalypse, again, if you don't like Prime Bursting so much, then, you know, Cosmic is really the way to go. Uh, as for the Sword Launcher, it feels fine. I don't feel any big skips. You should be okay. It's, it's really going to depend, though. I would just say be careful if it's the exact same as the original Excalius launcher. But again, you know, that's it. It feels fine when launching and everything. So for this set, you get an Apocalypse. That's pretty decent, I would say. You know, it's not bad. Not bad at all. You get uh, the Sword Launcher from the Excalius thing. So if you never got the Excalius from before, you can get this launcher. If you like the cool blue recolor, it's fine. I would say... Not that bad at all, and it's an easier way if you want to get the Apocalypse ship instead of getting the big set. Uh, the blade set, yeah. So, for the blade like, set... Compared to the other one. Yeah, compared to the other Well, I mean, kind of at least, other than the Excalius one, because it's just the same one. Just, I guess, recolored, maybe it's a little bit slightly better, I guess. But overall, what do you think of it? Oh, I think 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Oh, no, okay, well, what do you think about the colors? Like, actually, like, it looks fine, right? The is amazing. It just matches our stadium. Oh, what a coincidence. Yeah, right. I said that. <laughs> Alright, anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy the codes and everything. Huge thanks to Hasbro for this opportunity. And thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.